of my flesh and you drink of my blood, you cannot have eternal life. Men did not understand the parable that he spoke, that his body would have been wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are made whole. That healing is the children's bread. Hallelujah! Many of them, when they heard the saying, it was too hard for them to bear. Amen, somebody. Amen. Jesus, 
to Jerusalem, where they were home, me and they were crucified me. Peter stood up and he, because you love the things of men more than the things of God. Come on, somebody. I don't know what you will love more than God. Amen, somebody. But if you love anything more than God, and if you put anything before God, he said, I don't know my God, I'm a jealous God. He's going to take it away from you. Come on, somebody. He's going to destroy it.
Let me live the life God has called us to. Let me begin to commit ourselves. Let me begin to acknowledge God. Let me begin to seek God. And he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And what? His righteousness. And all of these things shall be added. Satan will test you with your bread. Come on, somebody. You know, that, that house you have to pay up for. That loan you have. Come on, somebody. That boss that you have. Come on, somebody. He gonna test your faith in what you love. Come on, he gonna see if you love money or you love God. If you believe that God is more than enough to provide for you. Come on, somebody. Or if you're willing by what you see, or by faith. But the just shall live by what? Faith. Hallelujah. Tim 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 said, it's easy to find strength. It just got to remember what God has done for you. Remember when you didn't have five years ago what he did for you. When we just sent someone to provide for you. Remember when you, you, you thought that was the end and when you just sent someone to, 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 amen, to speak a word and talk because of the same God of yesterday is the same God of today. And the same God of today is the same God tomorrow. Is that looking up to Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Remember what, remember what he saved your life. Remember when you could have died. Remember when demon spirit was sent to you. Remember when you were possessed. Remember how you were sick. Remember when doctors told you. Remember how poor you was. Remember when you didn't have anything. And look at your life today. And when you look at it today. And you look at what you are facing today. You know that the God of yesterday is the God of today. And the God of today is the God of tomorrow. Believing heart comes in. 
But that unbelieving heart comes pride and haughtiness and rebellion and no fear for God. But listen to me, whether you fear God or not, you've got to fall into His hands and you've got to deal with Him. Sinners and righteous, backsliders, them who don't know, all got to fall into the hands of the living God. When you fall into His hands, listen to me, you've got to answer for yourself. He's going to ask you, what have you done with my word? What have you done with the call I've given to you? What have you done with the ministry I've given to you? What have you done with the life I've given to you? Well, Lord, I've been attacked. I had a wife, I had a husband, I had a children, I had a job, come on somebody. And he said, listen to me, he was said, I'm wicked, an ungrateful servant, be thou cast in the mouth of darkness. And the Bible said, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Come on somebody, come on, because listen to me, Peter asked that same question. When the rich young ruler came to Jesus, he looked just and fair. How he looked? Just and fair. Like a knight. In a shining armor. And he said, good master, what must I do to be saved? Come on. What he said? Good master, what must I do to be saved? And Jesus said, down most. Come on. Keep the commandments. Love thy neighbor as thyself, love the Lord thy God. Come on, somebody. Amen. Thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not bear false witness. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. And thou, he said, and thou shalt have eternal. He said, but I have kept all these things from my youth up. He said, but one thing thou lackest. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, see, that man was a servant to his wealth. He became a servant to his business. He became a servant to his job. He became, amen, somebody. Listen to me. Once you become a servant to the things of this world. You're not a servant of God. And whatever you serve is what you're leading yourself to. It's what you're spending time to. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. You can say what you want to say. Come on, somebody. Eternal life only comes when you yield yourself, your life, your home, your family, your children, your job, your business unto God. All things must fall under subjection to God rule first. Come on. He said, but one thing thou lackest. He says, hey, go and sell all that I have and come and follow me. And you shall have riches in heaven. Come on, somebody. And you shall have eternal life. But Jesus didn't want the man to give up everything. Come on. Jesus was testing the man faith. If he was willing, God, Jesus would have stepped him. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But he came like he was so excited that he would have done anything for eternal life. Yeah. But the Bible said that man had great possessions. Yeah. He had what? Yeah. And he said how hard it is for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. He said it is easier for a camel to go to the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom. You know why? Come on, somebody. Because he has so much things to do that he don't have time for God. The more wealth you have, the more things you want, the more you focus on riches. If you are seeking God to be a rich man, come on somebody. It's the more your focus is going to be there. Come on. But if you are seeking God because you love him, man, nothing will separate you from him. Come on somebody. I said nothing shall separate you from him. Come on somebody. Amen. No man, no beast, no child, no minister, no prophet. Come on. Amen. We, we, the church backsliders, sinners, people in the world, they Blame every single thing. But who you serve is not man, it's God. Who you're looking up to is that man, is God. Who is my example? It is Jesus. Man will fail us. Friends will fail us. But God will never fail us. We are looking up to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. But many of us cannot look, we cannot see that way because our ego. Amen. Our pride give us trouble. We say, come on. Come on. We have to tell them back something. Come on, sir. we have to do them back something. Amen. Yeah, amen. Our pride, our ego get wounded. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. 
Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody here tonight? Amen. We have to keep in bitterness and unforgiveness to on somebody. Amen. And we have been missing the point that uh, we, we are here to serve God. We got to look beyond people and keep your eyes upon Jesus. Amen. Look him unto Jesus. We've got, we got to look beyond the voices of men. We've got to look beyond your neighbor, your brother, your sister. We've got to look beyond them and keep looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Because who we're going to answer to is none of us and his present here. Come on, somebody. We're going to answer to Jesus and he's going to ask, what have you done with my word? Come on, somebody. Jesus knew he didn't have to answer to the devil. He had to answer to God. Then the devil came and said, if you were bow to me, I will give you all the riches of this world. I will give everything to you. Come on, somebody. Many believers are bowing to everything else besides God. Amen. Come on. Amen. Listen, we, we, we bow to our bosses and we disrespect the men of God Amen. that God has sent in your lives. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, Jesus told them, he said, it is you who have killed the prophets. Teacher. It is you who have stoned them. It is you who have beheaded them. Today we live in a time more civilized. We're not killing them with sword and with, and with spear anymore. You know who we're destroying men of God? The mouth. Amen. 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 How is the church being destroyed? The mouth. Amen. Words. Amen. And what is in the heart of men? Amen. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth. Speaks. Lies. Deception. Amen. Wickedness. Amen. Uncleanness. Come on, somebody. Amen. When God sent his messengers to minister the truth, to preach the truth, to teach the truth. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. And yes, the time is coming again where they will imprison us, where they will kill us. Come on, physically, for preaching the gospel. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Be except for the time will come where we not be able to endure what? Sound Sound You know why they killed Stephen? Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. When he began to preach the truth, they couldn't take it. Amen. They take up stones. That's what we do to our mouths when we pick up stones. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Do you know they couldn't find one fault in the King of Glory yet still they crucified? Amen. But they found a lie. They took the truth and made it into a lie. Amen. The Bible said we took the glory of God and made it like unto the image of a man. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. The Bible said when we knew him as God, we honored him not as God. And the Bible said our foolish heart was darkened and our vain minds, we did that which was what? Unseemly. In other words, they didn't expect that to happen. They didn't expect it to come true. Amen. He didn't talk your son in that do that. He didn't talk your mother in that do that. Amen. He didn't talk this woman that do that or that woman that do that. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Am I speaking to somebody here tonight? Amen. Come on, say out. Out. Listen to me, if you don't leave here convicted, then I'm not doing my job. Amen. Some people say it's big stone, they say it's... Amen, somebody. Amen. Boulders. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. But the Bible didn't say that. It didn't say it was big stone, it didn't say it was boulders. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. The Bible calls it a rock. Amen. And he say, if you if you jump on the rock, blessed are you. Amen. So if you jump on the holy train, if you jump on the gospel, and you take it with the right spirit, Amen. you take it with conviction, you take it as a challenge to become better, to do Amen. better. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. You're going to grow and build your house right. But he say, if the rock fall on you, you're going to be grinding to powder. 
Amen. Yeah, I think your heart against the rock. Then the Bible calls this wood a rock, and then it calls it a hammer. Amen. Come on, somebody. Oh, amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, anybody here can, can take a lash of a hammer? No, nobody, you, anybody want to pick up a hammer and hit somebody with it? The Bible says, God will make a hammer. That's how hard it is. Amen. Come on. And so you've got to ring up the tooth of the eye, the nose, the mouth, the face, the heart. Come on, somebody. They gave you a whiplash effect. <laughs> Come on. Amen. Come on, they gave you a whiplash. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. You ever see them school girls and them boy in school when they give each other talk? And how they blow up the eye and the face and it? <laughs> when they hit you with flash? <laughs> when the world comes up and they hit you with flash? Because they go, oh man, the hammer hit you. Amen. The hammer hit you. Come on, somebody. Amen. The sword of the spirit coming to you. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. The sword of the spirit coming to you. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the prophet ministry. Amen. Amen. Even while I'm preaching and prophesying. Amen. Why? Because the word of God is exposing what is in the hearts of men. Amen. And then people will swear somebody tell me something. Preacher. You know what time I was at my ministry? Why nobody tell me if I start to accuse brothers and sisters and think they come and tell me something? Preacher. And that time is the Spirit of God unknowingly. Amen. Speaking to you. And you're rejecting it. Preacher. Because your mind cannot. Amen. And you cannot receive the things of God. You're not allowing your mind to be renewed. You're not receiving the engrafted word of God with the right spirit. They take it in a form of condemnation. Picture. Come on. Listen to me. The Bible says that you've got to confess your sins. Yeah. You try to hide it. God says you've got to confess it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. He said, open oh, rebuke is better than seeking yeah. love. Some of you are worried what people think about us and what they know about us. Listen to me. What you think people they know, they know already. Richard, amen. They just interrogate their face. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. And why the one you've got to be really concerned about amen. is the man above. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We too concerned about people's opinions about our lives. And we're not concerned about God's opinion. Preach on. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. It is God who will provide for you. It is God who woke you up this morning. It is God who gave you health and strength. It is God who gave you eternal life. It is God who gave you power to have wealth. It is God that will keep your relationship. It is God that will keep your children. And we concern about people who cannot act to us or take from us. Amen. Amen. Are you understand me? Amen. We are so concerned about people who cannot even add from us or take from us. And that is called the pride of life. Many people fall away and backslide from these things. Come on, somebody. Amen. And if you will keep your eyes upon Jesus. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. And if, if we must suffer, let us suffer for righteousness. Amen. Let us suffer for holiness. Let us suffer for having a standard, a standard of righteousness. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. And let us preach the banner of love. Amen. Having the right concept about love. Amen. Love is not having a church out of this order and disarray. Love is order. Come on, somebody. 
Amen. 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 Love, love is order, love is correction, love is rebuke, love is reproof. God what is love. He that love it is born of God, and he that love it not know it not God, for God is love. You think it's easy to be born of God? You know how much change God and God got to work in us? How much chastisement we have to face to be born of God? That's why I said every scripture is, is, is given for inspiration, for correction, for reproof, for instruction in righteousness. Amen. Come on, Sapa. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 And the Bible says when we suffer with him. We shall also be glorified with him. We shall be risen with him. Then he may say, you suffer for him. Come on, suffer. The moment you decide to surrender your life to Jesus, you begin to suffer for him. You begin to bear in your body the stripes of our Lord Jesus Christ. By father, by mother, by brother, by sister, by tante, by uncle, by children, by boss, by job, by lack, my, by necessity. You start to suffer for him. Do you know the devil start to come after you? And he begins to test your faith. Come on. He, he begins to test to see if you're serving God or mama. He begins to test to see if I give you all this thing. If you're going to consume you. If your riches increase in your life. Tell them if your riches increase. Set up your heart upon it. Bless God if He bless you. Bless God if He give you a BMW. Bless God if He give you a house. Bless God if He promote you. But, uh, but that is not why you're so many. Yeah. Bless God if He give you everything you had desire. But that is not why you're serving Him. You're serving Him because you, you love Him. And you want that eternal life. Come on. So Jesus was tested in this chambers. So will we be tested. As we continue our walk with Christ. And we got to have faith in God. We got to keep our eyes upon Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. Who is the author and the finisher of our faith. God didn't send us as messengers to, con to condemn you. Amen. But the flesh. Shows you like it is condemnation. The flesh shows you. Come on, somebody. Like if somebody trying to pull you down and destroy you. Come on, somebody. That's the flesh. Come on, somebody. But the spirit shows you. Come on, somebody. Amen. The spirit shows you that word is for me. I need to hear that. I need to work on myself. I need to work on my life. This is a weakness. Sir. This is a flaw. This is something. I'm not ashamed of this. Come on, somebody. I'm not ashamed of this. Come on. I have, I have to reach in a place that I can confess my sins. Right. So, amen. Amen. One another. Glory. That person can tell me, come on. You Amen. could overcome it. Amen. Amen. You could conquer it. Amen. Come on, somebody. Right. Not when you hear the word of God come and say, the prophet threw that for me. Amen. Minister, you threw that for me. Amen. Amen. The only time the words of God bring conviction is when you are failing in an area of your life. That's the only time it would bring conviction. And if, it bring, if it is bringing conviction, then it is for you. If it is not bringing conviction, it is not for you. Then you ought not to be offended. But what the Bible says about the truth? He said the truth offends. The truth is something that is, that is always in your face. You're going to keep confronting you. And you know like you have an enemy, and they always have to pass by the, by the, by the house. Amen. I don't know about you, but when I was going to school, we always in fight. Come on, when I go to high school, we always in fight. Amen. Come on, and, 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 and it's how long we to pass, and everybody always waiting for somebody. Amen. So your enemy always in your face. Amen. But in this case, the truth is, is not your enemy. Amen. The truth wants to save you. you it wants to deliver you. you it wants to set you free. Amen. Many of us are struggling with that truth. We are battling because the truth keeps bashing us. 
Amen. and give a whip on us. The Bible said those that God loved, he will chase and he will beat with many stripes. Amen. Come on. Amen. For our viewers, for our listeners, let this word take root. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. What, what is the truth for? It is, it's going to be always in your face. Come on, somebody. Amen. The truth is going to be always in your face. Tell me, hey, that's wrong. This is wrong. What you're saying wrong. Your attitude wrong. Your thinking wrong. Amen. Your feelings wrong. What you're choosing wrong. The truth of God's word. And the Bible said, the truth of God's word for many believers has come as a what? An offense. Has come as a stumbling block for them. He said, believers stumble at the word. They do what? But he said if you continue in the world, no matter how much the world will whip you, no matter how much it is in your face right through, if you keep continuing, you keep abiding, you keep taking it in the right spirit, in the right spirit, and say, I am an overcomer, I am a conqueror, I know what, what God would have said about my life is for my own benefit. I know if I continue this way, I'm going to lose my life, I'm going to lose my blessing, I'm going to lose my eternal life, I'm going to lose the promises of God, I'm going to lose the covering of God, I'm going to lose the covenant. I don't want to be like those who have died and gone before me. I don't want to be like a wicked and unfaithful servant. I want to be from faithful. I want to be a child of God. I want to have that crown of life. I want to win souls. I want to be like Jesus. I'm not following the crown. I'm following Jesus. But only a few things that way. The Bible says, all the thousands that heard the saying, if you eat of my body and drink my blood, only then you shall have eternal life. The Bible said, they turn and call them a devil. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Amen. They call him a rum bibbler. Come on, somebody. Come on. They've gone so far in this time to say that uh, he had a wife who was a Mary Magdalene. Mm -hmm. The prostitute had wiped his feet. Picture. Come on, somebody. They said he cast out devils by the prince and, and power of darkness by the prince of devils, Belzebub. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Judas thought he was doing Jesus a favor. Peter thought he was doing Jesus a favor as well. Jesus said, look, Peter, he said, don't love us the things of men. What are the things of God? Why Peter wanted to fight for him. But Jesus knew the purpose he came for. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Do you know the purpose? You are, you are called on the grace of the purpose. Amen. Tell the neighbor, say, you are called on the grace of the purpose. The you, you didn't just come to assemble here as the saints of God, but you came to hear what God wants you to do. He didn't call you to be idle. He didn't call you to be woke obsessed. He didn't call you to be husband and wife obsessed. He didn't call you to, to drown yourself in your sorrows and in your cares of this life. He called you to be a light. He called you to be an example. He called you to be a strong soldier. He called you to move mountains. Jesus, amen, looked at Peter when Peter asked him, then, Lord, who will be saved? If this, if this man cannot be saved, this rich young ruler, the shining knight who, who, say, who claimed to keep all these things, if he cannot be saved, then who will be saved? And when Peter was judging himself now, Peter recognized who he is. Come on, somebody. He admitted who he was. He knew he was ignorant and a drunkard. 
Who was Peter? He was ignorant and he was a drunkard. Not like the drunkards today. Amen. The drunk, whether once a week, twice a week, but every day, and I'll tell you, I said a drunkard. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Many of you might know my uncle. Come on, somebody. Come on. And he is punching and he chases him and start every day. And when I tell him, I say he's a drunkard, but I have to repent. I tell him straight like that. No words of us say he's a drunkard. Get a drunk to you. Come on, son. Come on. Not saying that he's a bad person or a way. It's very helpful in other ways. But that area, brother, God will like that. And I'll tell you, I'll tell him, I say, Uncle, Uncle is a drunkard. Go home. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tell me, me ignore something. Feel afraid that you want to tell my mother. And when you come on, I say, so what it is? You're telling me, in next year, come on, say, I said that drunkard. Come on, tell me, I said that drunkard. I said that. Come on. And so you, you're living in denial. Many of us live in denial. We are afraid to look in the mirror and see where we are weak. We are afraid to look and see where we need to improve. We are afraid to look and see where we need to pray in our lives. Come on, somebody. Come on, some of us are spiritual children. Preacher. Come on. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, you know what you do with that baby? You have to pick up the baby right from the street and say, Oh, Lord, baby. Oh, God, what did you do here? Oh, mm, 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 what did you do? How long are we going to do that for? He said, Jesus, Paul said, I wanted to give you, I wanted to give you meat. Meat, but that's not to give you milk. No. Why? Because it has strength and vision amongst you. <laughs> big man and big woman like you heard in the kingdom. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. That's what God raised the prophets for. Amen. To come and preach to you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Not to Amen. It is not to condemn you, but to convict you. Amen. But if it offends then you means you don't have the right spirit. Preach on. Amen. And that's why they stole down Stephen. Come on, they couldn't take it. When Stephen began to preach about how they killed Jesus, an innocent man, a man approved of God. Come on, come on, somebody. How they took his message and twisted. Come on, somebody. They don't all like him and all the ways. Come on, somebody. How they lied him. How they choose a thief over the Son of God. The Bible said they couldn't take it. They said, what to do now? What to do? They take up stone and started stone them down. Amen. And Paul, Saul was there, who was later on converted at the stoning of Stephen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. And the Bible said Stephen lifted up his eyes and said, why they were stoning him down? That's why I see the glory of God. And his hand is of stretch towards me. Come on, somebody. And his hand is of what? Stretch towards me. And the Bible said he gave up the ghost. And the Bible said his face shone like an angel. Amen. And Paul left there convicted. Amen. Come on. And on his way to Damascus, while he was going to kill some other Christians. Because Paul was a murderer. Amen. He was zealous after the law. But he didn't know God. He had a zeal that according to the knowledge of God. Amen. Listen to me, we are living in evil times, church of God. And we can't afford to play church. Amen. We are living in perilous times. Amen. Look at our nation, look at murders. Come on. Amen. While the Lord spoke on Saturday, there was so much accident and murder that was happening within that two-hour period. Amen. 
Like God was speaking. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Right down the hill, Sister Denise. Amen, somebody. Ex husband got killed. Amen. Took a higher walk and they shot him in the head. Amen. I was 10 houses away from the church. I let prophecy was going on. Amen. It's a time to hear the voice of God. Jesus said, He that I'm here is to hear. For the Spirit is saying, Let that be. He said, To my sheep, they will know my voice. And if you are going contrary to God, no matter how much, what you are saying, you do not know the voice of God. Amen. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, you're going to come under a curse, you're going to come under judgment. Amen. And what's when no man of God can save, save you? Me. Amen. It's only Jesus can. You know, but people, I, I wish that, uh, that God would use me to heal, and God is said uh, there's a reason why that they, they amen that they are not healed as yet. Amen. And I will, I will still speak hope and faith, and then there will those that will come easy and come with us healing them. Because why? Sometimes God, to whom much is given, much is required. And, and amen, and we're not doing what He has given us to do. We're not doing what is required of us. Amen. That's why He has not delivered us yet. Picture. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Do not let your faith stray. Jesus told Peter, the devil is out to sit you like me. Me. But I will pray for you that your faith will fail. not fail. Don't let your faith don't let your fail. Don't, let your faith fail. don't drown yourself in the don't cares of this life. Of this don't drown yourself in the tribulation and persecution. In sorrow. Don't drown yourself in sorrow. Don't, drown yourself. don't feel sorry for yourself. Amen, Amen. Amen. Because only faith pleases God. Amen. Don't sell your soul. For the things that will perish. Amen. Sorry, but things selling your soul is signing a contract with the number six sitting on it with a five point star. Come on, somebody. Die for those who practice in necromancy. Amen. But you sell your soul when you deny Jesus for the things of this world. Amen. Come on, somebody. Picture. Come on, somebody. Amen. The Bible says we are in this world, but, not of but we are not of it. Remember, always remember you are in this world, but, not of but you are not of this world. You will never belong here. No matter what you try to fit in, you will never Amen. belong here. Amen. You are going to a place whose ruler and builder is for. He said, while you are here, yes, do business. Amen. While you are here, Make sure that you you have you you stock up that you have enough. Amen. That you that you you live wise. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. But also the most important while you are here, put God first. Amen. Picture. Everything you do. God. Remember, I am not telling you not to have anything good Picture. that the world can give. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Let me rephrase that question to the book and give you nothing good. Amen. I'm not telling you that to have anything good that God can give. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. That God has created for you. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. But if you get it without putting God first, it is not blessed of God. Amen. And it can easily be destroyed. Amen. And if you get something you were praying for, that God gave to you, and after you get it, you throw aside God, He will take it from you. Amen. Or, you will t or something of greater value will be lost. Amen.
Because you can tell the devil what to take. Pigeon. When you open that door for the thief to enter, you can't tell the thief to take that one and leave this one. Pigeon. When the thief comes, whatever he wants to take, he, takes. he will take. Come on, someone. Amen. And the Bible says, come to steal, kill, and destroy. What is our defense against it? The, the armor of God. He said, find my virgin be what? Strong in the Lord. Lord. Let's, let's do tonight's communion tonight. Let the ushers bring it. And in that parable, as we close to that message, Jesus asked his disciples, he said, would you also go? Will you also leave because you cannot hear my sayings? You cannot bear them? Come on. Come on. And Peter rose up and said, Who else can we go to, Lord? For thou alone hast the words of eternal life. And he told Peter, he said, Flesh and blood have not revealed this unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And he said, Simon, son of Bodonus, thou shalt be called Peter a rock. Amen. And upon this rock I will build my church. The gates of and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church Amen. of Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Shut your hands tonight. I pray that we will receive this word tonight in our hearts. With purity and righteousness and holiness subjected to your word, Father. And as we eat, we eat of your body. As we drink, we drink of your blood. For all that it represents and all it has done for us. We say thank you. And we will not be who we used to be. Not adulterers, nor fornicators, nor bandits, nor thieves, nor unclean, nor covetous, nor murmurers, nor complainers. But we shall become sons and daughters of God. Born again in your spirit and your word. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless it tonight. Bless it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray with everyone tonight. As you have received this word. Make your life and your heart right. With the Lord, Lamb of God, glory to Jesus, Spirit of God.
He break it. Give God thanks for the Son of God. His body. His body. Just wounded for our transgressions. It was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are made whole. Amen. We thank you for the body of the Son of God. Let it strengthen our soul, our spirit. For the battles ahead, for the growth of the ministry. For we know what you are about to do, for you have revealed unto us. And we will grow from strength to strength, from grace to grace. From depth to depth, height to height, faith to faith. And we will see greater miracles, notable miracles. And there will be testimonies as you have never seen before. He said, thank you for your body, Jesus. Let's eat together tonight. Remember this. It's never too late to turn back. If you hear the voice, Isaiah said, we have eyes that see not and ears that hear not. It means we close our eyes and shut our ears on the truth. But if we will really open our eyes and receive spiritual enlightenment, and if we will open up our ears and hear, we're going to understand with our, our hearts. Amen, somebody. And he said, I will heal them. Come and heal you. What the best you. Sin is the cause of our trouble. Sin is behind it. The devil is behind it. Every backslider, everyone who has failed and come short, there's a devil behind it. Every great man of God 
who are falling by the wayside. It's the devil behind. Jesus said, I wish that none will perish, but all will come to eternal life. Just got to humble yourself. Just got to ask. He just got to confess. He just got to make it right. When John saw Jesus, he said, Behold the Lamb of God and take it away the sins of the world. Amen, somebody. This is the blood of Jesus. It has brought us back. This blood has paid for our deliverance. Has paid for us for no longer to be slaves to the enemy. But to come to Jesus, don't crucify my flesh, but look unto Jesus. Go forward. Let us receive your life in our bones, our blood, our fluid, our nerves, all of this not of God. Let it come out of us. For we have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. We say thank you Lord. Let's straight together tonight. Amen someone. So the name said, Jesus and I wish that none would perish. It is, it's, it is within every man of God's heart that none will perish. And all that will come, all will come to eternal life. Amen. God has put that love for him there. Amen, somebody. Amen. He has put a love for his people, but a, a love for the truth and a love for righteousness. And people will come up to that standard. Amen, somebody. Amen. Nobody can see their children going wrong and not correct them. Amen. Otherwise, you wouldn't love them. Amen. Come on, somebody. In the same way. Come on, somebody. In the same way. Come on. God cannot see his children going wrong and he would not preach and minister about it. Come on, somebody. Can we keep going? Turn to neighbor and say, if you don't if you don't leave here convicted tonight. Then the man of God is not doing his job. And I want you to understand. Come on, somebody. Amen. Uh, the first half of my day today was a tough day. Amen, somebody. I wasn't well today. Amen. Amen. So I got maybe about four hours sleep. Amen. And it was just, just to run up here. Amen, somebody. I said, Lord, what happened to Saturday night? I said, well, I will just come on. Amen. We just go to praise God and pray for everybody. We're going to keep coming in service. Amen. Come on. Amen. Many people don't understand. I do not sit down like other pastors who went to Bible school and have a three point message. Amen, somebody. Come on. Come on. Amen. Amen. And, but it's the multitude of scriptures and that's. That have been studying over years, and every night of prayer, God, what to tell you, what to speak, what to minister. Give me a word from your heart, from your presence. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. But the scripture said that people will look in these last days for teachers. They will have itching ears. In other words, they're going to run for what's song the night, what's song in good, but comfortable. What will benefit them, not God? Come on. And we'll be preaching this ministry. That's the gospel. The gospel. Come on. That's where the power is. That's where salvation is. And it, as we begin to live it, as we begin to, come on, Paul said, I wrestle with the beast of Ephesus. We're going to wrestle with things in our lives. We're going to wrestle with issues. We're going to wrestle with, with weakness. We're going to wrestle with fears. We're going to wrestle with anxiety. We're going to wrestle with so much things in our lives. But we, we have to choose. Faith is a decision. Do you know that? Amen. It's a decision for you to receive the Holy Ghost. It's a decision for you to surrender to Christ. It's a decision for you to, for you to choose life or death. Faith is also a decision to say, you know what? I'm going to just go to trust God. I can't do it on my own. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to make them trust God. And all that 
Oh, hindi na sa faith, hindi sa inyo ang lahat. You're gonna see a light begin to shine. And you're gonna see doors begin to open. Diba says, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, some put their trust in the might of the Lord. He said, but I put my trust in the name of the Lord. Let's pick up the night's tithes and offering. Amen, somebody. And then I'm gonna prove it every one of you here tonight. Put your trust in whatever you are facing. Talk to God as you come up. And the, the anointing, you're going to receive the anointing. Go with it. See God begin to walk in your life. Amen. Jesus, and you're going to receive from the master's hand tonight. Remember, you are carrying your deliverance, you are carrying your healing, you are carrying your miracle, you are carrying your breakthrough. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Say, don't try to tell me my God is dead, you won't be on this morning.
I want you to remember, I think it's this Saturday the 17th, right? Yes. Uh, fundraising, last fundraising for the year. Amen. We are believing God for the building to be up very soon before the year is up. Amen. Somebody. Amen. As I said, I'm just waiting on the builder to finish his work that he's doing in Tobago. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 As well as we are believing God for a bus before the year is over. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Go with him, Jesus. As well as our children and vocational Bible school starting today. Amen. It's going to finish on Thursday. Yeah. Thursday, amen. amen. From 9 to 2, amen, somebody. Amen. amen. If your children have not come as yet, make sure you bring them, amen, somebody. Amen. amen. We have, have about 35 children today. Give God some praise and give up. Amen. amen. Before it's over, we're expecting maybe about 85 of them. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. As well as the Lord is going to put us on, um, the Lord has put us on um, two days of fasting and praying. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So it's going to be like from a Wednesday to a Friday. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Based on the prophecy the Lord gave on Saturday night. It's the first time for the year the Lord has spoken openly. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 And He gives certain instructions and we're going to keep you all informed. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 If you all can make it on for that Saturday night, it's going to be great. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Uh, it's very important for you to be there as we gather together as the body of Christ for our nation, for our leaders, for the things that God spoke. God spoke about how the rainy season will be this year. He said that the rain will fall in different areas that didn't have flood last year. And that's how it's happening. You see a rain on our road last week? Amen. You see water on the Amen. Amen. And he had a come out of the car in the river. Amen. Amen. And last year the whole of the car get a day. That's about places, different places that didn't get hit as bad last year. They're getting hit this year. Every prophecy, every detail of it, God is bringing it to pass. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. The Lord spoke about the mood of toll. Amen, somebody. It is the worst ever. Amen, somebody. They said last year around this time. Amen, somebody. Had just uh, oh, close to 3,300 murders. Amen, somebody. We have close to 500 murders. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. About this time last year. Amen, somebody. Amen. As I was watching on the news, when they were in the red house, they said around this time, last year, had about 300 and something murders. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 And this year, the murder told, as you can see, it's already 500. Amen. Because, amen. Remember, they only come to one meal and give unto us what we can do, come to us. But it's plenty more than nothing. Then we just go into missing children. Let's go into accidents. Amen. Let's go about to those who are dying. Amen, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. I also spoke to somebody working in a hospital. They said the bone is in the Caribbean. Amen. 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 And they started to prepare rooms in Quora. Amen, somebody. For a day, man, somebody. Everything that the Lord is saying, we need to be covered. We need to seek God. We need to have a relationship. Come on. When you, are, when you are walking with God, disease is going to flee from you. Sickness is going to flee from you. Come on, somebody. Come on. It takes faith for you to go and pray for the Ebola patient. Somebody with Ebola put up on the church today. And they say, hi, Ebola, come take a pray for him. That's it. <laughs> What you going to do? If you give the whole church here that the mask, I'm not going to run to any of you with a family. Come on, somebody. I know what I have to do. I have to go out and faith. And I have to go out and say, if I be a man of God, then this evil that kind of come upon me. No one come and says, the Lord send them. And we come to get prayed for, I have to pray for them. Come on, somebody. Come on. 
Come on, then you say, give me a child of God. A faith. That these sicknesses will flee from me. Doesn't mean you're not going to get the cold, it doesn't mean you're cold in your life, it doesn't mean these things. It means that things like these things are meant to kill and destroy you immediately. Curses that this kind cannot come to you. As you read Psalm 91, you claim the promises as you hold up to God. Amen? Amen. Father, we thank you for everyone here. We thank you for so much people that came out in spite of this type of weather. We see the world in the root in them. We pray as the leaf of him, but not from your presence. Let your anointing rest, rain, and abide upon them. In Jesus' mighty name, keep us safe from what happened one day to appear on Sunday. By faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's, let's, let's greet somebody in Jesus' name.